Here are a few last minute paper 6 chemistry exam tips. Gases like ammonia are collected upwards because they have low density. On the other hand, carbon dioxide is collected downwards because it has higher density than air. When you've been asked to put an arrow where you're supposed to apply the heat, apply the heat on the solid. And if there was a catalyst along with the solid, you should apply the heat simultaneously on both the solid and the catalyst. If there was an ice bath, then this ice bath is meant to condense water vapor. Concentrated sulfuric acid is used as a drying agent to remove any water vapor. Ovens can be used to dry all solids except when having crystals. If you dry the crystals in an oven, then you remove water of crystallization and that will break down those crystals. When asked for improvements, repeating the experiment will always improve reliability and will help you to eliminate any anomaly. You can always improve accuracy by using a better measurement equipment such as a pipette. In experiments where you have to take temperature measurements, taking more frequent measurements is an improvement, in addition to the use of polystyrene cup with a lid. When asked for safety, make sure that you're not directly heating alcohols because they're flammable. In an experiment where a halogen like chlorine is produced, this experiment should be done in a fume cupboard because halogens are toxic. For the identification of ions, if sodium hydroxide or aqueous ammonia are added, then you should be looking in the cations table of result. When adding silver nitrate, then you're actually testing for an anion, which is a halide, that is chloride, bromide, or iodide. Adding barium, then you are testing for sulfates. In electroplating, you should first clean the object by using a sandpaper and while doing the electroplating, you should rotate that object so you will distribute the metal layer evenly all over this object. Finally, if you've been asked to plan an investigation to prove that a solid is a catalyst, first, you should measure the mass of the solid, add it to a solution, in this case, it would be hydrogen peroxide, determine the volume of oxygen produced over units of time, then you will filter that solid, dry it. The mass should stay constant because catalysts don't get used up during a chemical reaction. That's it for today. I wish you all best of luck.